Here are the top five plays from NSU's 17 to 14 victory over the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Coming in at number five, wide receiver Victor Harrison shows you the meaning of concentration with this great catch, which was on a third and seven. Hey, he had enough for the first down. This would lead to an NSU field goal early in the first quarter that would put them up three to nothing. Coming in at number four, a big block field goal from NSU Special Teams Unit. This also occurring in the first quarter. It was blocked by number 89, Matthew Grant, his second in two games for the Spartans. Big play there. At number three, Xavier Boyce. This 43-yard catch was one of his seven catches for 84 yards on the day. After two big South Carolina State penalties, Chris Wally would pound it in from three yards out, giving NSU a 17-14 lead with about nine minutes to go in the game. Wally only 153 yards passing, but hey, no picks in this game. At number two, the big goal line stand from NSU's defense, stopping quarterback Wiley of South Carolina State Bulldogs, who was making plays with his feet all game. But the NSU defense stops him there, a big stop from the NSU defense, which would lead to a Blake Erickson field goal attempt, which is no good. NSU retains its three-point lead, 17 to 14, with about two minutes to go in the game. And coming in at number one, Anamichi Anawango with this big 89-yard fumble return to the house. This occurred right at the end of the first half with a few seconds to go. Scooping up Jalen Simmons fumble, Aniwango take it all the way. Big momentum shift in favor of the Spartans. They went into halftime up 10 to seven on his big play. Aniwago was awarded the MVP of the Fishbowl Classic, 13 tackles, and of course the big fumble recovery for a touchdown. He was everywhere on the field, and he is in your number one play of the top five plays in issue 17 to 14 victory over South Carolina State in this edition of the Fishbowl Classic. For more on NSU football, as always, NSUSpartans.com.